Is there any new music coming in? Do you guys preparing anything new soon? Yeah, we're we're working. We're always working on stuff. Um, so we're kind of really trying to craft a bundle of tunes together at the moment. So we've got an EP coming out very shortly, but we want to. We're working on something pretty big, aren't we? To be fair. And how do you oh, think people receive a, an EP? Only known as. Yeah. Uh, a diferencia de like a difference like what's the difference between an EP and a full blown like record how, uh, how does that feel it's, I, feel, I feel like an EP kind of you can focus a bit more on individual tracks whereas an album feels like it's way too many tracks to, to do that it's yeah. like everything has to have like a little bit of a purpose in it I think yeah. it has to have like consistency and like a flow and so it's, it's I feel like it's much when it gets to the point where you're trying to craft the music, you passed all the ideas stage and everything like that has, has happened. That's when it's, I find it really hard. I do. It's difficult. It's because yeah. it's you don't know, because there's so many different possible ways of to represent songs. Yeah, yeah. Sonically, that it's like the choices are almost endless. I, so I, I think that because of the same thing that it's so hard to do like a full blown album because yeah. of like all these options and all this. Mm. I think now that I take more seriously bands that have a full blown album, like I, I can't take seriously like people who just like yeah, roll out yeah. singles and sure. you know like like two single EPs or whatever. It's like uh, like it feels like the band has more skin in the game or yeah when they make a full blown. I think it shows that you're really like passionate about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause every, yeah cause uh, it's I, like, oh, you wrote a whole book. <laughs> yeah. A whole yeah. novel. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Not that's just 20 pages. <laughs> the thing is that the industry has changed. The fact yeah. that music is kind of disposable now. People yeah. are so saturated with music today. Everybody's just bringing yeah. new shit every day. So you need to create a, 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 having an EP gives you the opportunity to release the songs periodically yeah. you know, with a schedule and then make a video, release, throw in a video, social media promotion, then second song, then the video, then the lyric video, or the lyric video, then the video, you know? And it's all about numbers today, you know? Mm. Where are you your numbers? numbers. You I can, hate that yeah. fucking thing about numbers. It doesn't mean anything today. You know? yeah. It's like they say, it's better to have 100,000 true fans than 3 million Definitely. Mm. people Definitely. that... Yeah, don't true. care about yeah, it. Yeah, it's all. so true. Yeah. Like real fan bases that yeah. go to shows and things. It's exactly. Like the they follow you feeling. and are waiting yeah. for your new thing to come out, you know, like are really behind you. Yeah. That's the hardest thing to create when you're making music. Mm. And it's all about, for me, it's it's not a, uh, uh, it, it, it's a race, but it's not about speed. It's about like distance. Yeah. How much distance can you run and know how fast yeah. can you run? Yeah. And, it's about consistency. It's just keep yeah. trying, keep trying, keep trying, yeah. keep trying, and then you're gonna eventually have a head, and yeah. and you need to capitalize it and keep going and, and yeah. never stop. You know. Yeah, that is the thing. I think yeah, you, you, that that's actually part of your plans to do this like for life, like music and yeah. I mean yeah, yeah. I, I really love it. Yeah, I've done for years, so it's kind of like I can't really see that it's it's gonna change anytime soon. No, well, oh, no. What's about this this studio you you guys have over there? Like, is yeah. is that yours? Is that your your guys' yeah, studio? Yeah, so we built it in like um, the past two two and a bit years or something. Yeah, it's so you guys wow, built awesome. your own studio to make music and to produce other artists. As well? yeah, yeah, it started slightly differently. Like, it was supposed to be just our place to practice because we came home from Berlin. We were living there for a while, and we needed like a home spot. Because we did have yeah. one there, didn't we? We had one yeah. in Berlin, and and so. It started out as like, should we make somewhere that's like for Cassia to rehearse, record our stuff? That's it. And then as it went on, it was like, well, it probably needs to make some money for it to work too. So we had to build more places where we could work and then rent the main yeah. place. You know, and it yeah. went like that. Yeah, make it autosufficient in a certain way. So yeah. You yeah. can use it when you want to, but you can lease it when you're not using exactly, it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. And it's, it's like a really pro studio. It's like a full blown pro studio. Yeah. Yeah. Just for our, our yeah. public that don't know this, Arthur and, and I and Marcelo Trevino, we booked that studio without knowing it was them. Yeah, yeah. we didn't make it, but. You didn't even really? We'll yeah, make no. it next year. Next year. We, we switched what, the date. When, uh, do you know when next year? March, right? Or May. I think March or May. I don't remember. Which okay. Well, cool. if the de if the deposit is still is still there, <laughs> the cash, the cash money <laughs> deposit. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, let's get our deposit. I'm just kidding. Oh, but, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 